Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb, and I'm here in the, the Shambles Cottage in Chiang Mai, North Thailand. And what I want to show you in this uh, small screencast is a way of looking at Microsoft Office applications on your iPad. I'm on my iPad now, um, and I'm doing a screencast on here. Uh, I'm in Safari, the web browser, so there's no app downloaded at all. And you can see in the top, unfortunately I can't highlight where my finger is, uh, in, the, in the address bar, the URL of the browser, you can see it says Nexus, N-E-X-U-S, dot install free, I-N-S-T-A-L-L-F-R-E-E, -E -E dot com, slash Nexus, slash login, uh, dot ASP. Um, so you go here. Now, if you're outside of the U.S., Canada, or Western Europe, you'll get a notice which says, sorry, your region is not currently supported. It's only available in those three regions, regions. Um, unless, of course, you have VPN on your device. And so on my iPad here, I have VPN, and it thinks I'm in San Francisco, I think. So you can see, in store free, this is what it looks like. You, uh, at the very bottom there, it says, new to, in store free, Nexus, click here to create an account. So you create an account, and I've done that already, and... I've had confirmation, so I put my email in there, my password. I put it in there before uh, we came here, because on the iPad you can see see what the letters are and the numbers I'm typing. So I press login, and I think what it's doing it's connecting to uh, Nexus's uh, install freeze um, servers somewhere in uh, in in North America, I'm guessing, but who knows? Come on now, Nexus, don't uh, don't be too slow here. Here it goes. While we're waiting, maybe I'll just remind you that the idea of this is that I have more or less a full, what I want is a full Microsoft Word or a full PowerPoint running inside the um, browser, running inside this browser. Here we go. And what it wants to do initially is it wants to link with one of my file storage um, accounts that I have. Um, you can see there's Google Drive there, there's Dropbox, so I have a Dropbox account, so if I touch Dropbox it would link to my Dropbox account, ask me for my username and password, and then it would save files, Word files, to and from there. But I haven't actually signed up for them yet, and I'm just going to close that, because I don't want this to make this too long. Um, along the bottom left hand corner, look down the bottom left hand corner, it says settings and that's what the settings are and you can pause this video and look at them yourself or try it yourself uh, for real. Um, on the left it says storage, bottom left hand corner, so if I hadn't, if I want to connect to my Dropbox account I go to there and connect to my Dropbox account. But the one I want to look at for now is apps, bottom left hand corner, I'm going to touch apps and you can see that what's going to come up is there's the option. So if I want to look at Word, I touch Word, and lo and behold, <laughs> it's quite a there's a lot of functionality here. It's it's Microsoft Word 2010. I understand it's working by actually the, having the application, having Word actually running on their servers, and it's mirroring to my iPad. So we have a full option here. If I touch a, a full version of Word, if I touch on screen keyboard there um, I've got an on-screen keyboard or you can use your Bluetooth keyboard um, that, it doesn't matter um, let me just just uh, close this if I can here we go I've closed it and I could open up PowerPoint I'm not going to do that I'll let you play so go to Nexus in storefree.com it looks like this is one option for iOS devices to have access to full versions of Word and Excel the other things down there LibreOffice Writer and LibreOffice Calc and their open source equivalents for, uh, for desktop publishing. So I hope you found that of interest. Have fun.